Hey guys, what is going on? It's Hamish from Income Screen Surfers. Again, it's SEM Rush on Redbubble, but you're going to want to stick around until the end of this video, guys. About eight minutes in, something pretty amazing happens. Basically, the premise of this video is what I keep talking about. It's how to take a deep dive into organic research. And what do I mean by deep dive? I mean long tail keywords without that many searches every month. So we're just going to cut the top layer of you know, spammy, like look at this, Redbubble stickers, Redbubble stickers, like logo, how are you going to rank for that? And what we're going to do is we're going to put position top three, and then we're going to put volume on 101 to 1000. And yeah, we're just going to do what we always do and have a little search for things. So in the background, you can see me searching for things. Um, what basically you, every time you want to do, every time what you want to do is when you find a keyword, you want to Google it. And you want to see you want to see directly how many results the keyword has on Redbubble. So you want to look for Redbubble on the SERP, the search engine result page, and you basically just want to yeah check it out. So I'm just trying to focus on things that are obviously not copyrighted. That's like the main thing. So if it says like logo or merch or if it's an anime or anything, I just kind of steer clear of any of those designs. It's not worth it. And yeah, basically the idea is to just find some keywords. I just zoom in a little bit so you can see the volume is on the right. It's, uh, you know, it's random at the moment, but the volumes are not bad. And if you think about it, if it's a hundred a month and you make a lot of sales let's say no not a lot of sales but you make a lot of designs it all adds up is the point so at this point I change it so that it's uh, sorted by volume and I just you know continue what I'm doing a lot of the times Amazon is first and I keep talking about this you really should be on Amazon merch by Amazon and if you're not just keep trying to get on there guys like just push 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 get rid of all copyright designs on any of your Redbubble pages and use your Redbubble as proof of sales that you've made sales don't make any copyright designs and if you do get on merch by Amazon be incredibly careful don't put anything that could be even remotely copyrighted on to a design because if you get kicked off you've blown it pretty much forever so I'm looking for things that you know are not copyrighted so I stumble across this keyword for example and I think actually Pepe the Frog might be copyright but I'm not 100% sure but either way I'm sure this guy is selling many many of these designs every month it's got a thousand searches and he's number one and people are probably looking to buy it it's just you spend two pounds you buy a sticker that's like dream scenario because you could be making like 500 sales a month or something ridiculous from that so this is when, as usual, Etsy came into play, and I'm always really interested in Etsy. So my uh, my plan soon changes, and I start to use Etsy as well. And yeah, I'd really recommend doing that, guys. It can yield some fantastic results when you cross these keyword methods together, because you can basically outrank the other website if it doesn't already exist on that website. Uh, yeah, this is just another really, really interesting keyword. Um, there's nothing copyright because I'm pretty sure Ben Shapiro hasn't copyrighted that, and I'm pretty sure it's a meme anyway, although maybe not. Um, and it's just, if you just put the, it on a t-shirt, I'm like 99% it's not copyright, although check. So this was a really interesting one. I think this is where I realized that um, it's you know really good to check on Etsy. Because this had 14,000 results. Okay, no, it wasn't this one. Um, inappropriate Christmas shirts. I was just curious. I'm always curious. I know that there'll be a lot of results, guys. You don't need to write in the comments now, like, oh, why do you even check that? Like, I know there's going to be a lot of results. But it's something that you could put back into SEM Rush's keyword tool, for example, and then you could get uh, different keywords from, from that based on that really popular keyword. I, I don't know what this is. I think it's a song someone has their product there which means they're probably selling a lot if someone's product is there if it's not a result page on Redbubble if it's someone's product you know that they're making a lot of sales because Google has deemed that page to be the most relevant which means they must have been making sales because from that traffic and they will have just moved up and up and up in the SERP because making sales is an incredibly positive 
um, sign for Google and obviously it really affects the intent. If someone is buying, looking to buy something, Google has to reflect that in the SERP. So if you get a product page, not a Redbubble search page, a product page, onto the SERP, that's where you can make a lot of sales. So I basically wanted to include all of my process here. So um, I decided to check out tapestries and see if I could find any like niche kind of tapestry designs that I could sell. And interestingly, Society6 came up, which I would recognize as an opportunity, um, as opposed to if it was Etsy that came first, for example. And then I saw Renaissance tapestries, and I was really, I was thinking, it's like, will that many people have done it? And Amazon, Merch by Amazon, only 153 results. Obviously, Redbubble, 10,000 results, so they weren't playing around. Um, and then I think I had the idea to have a quick look at the Merch by Amazon one. Really, really interesting, guys. Um, I assume they're all Merch by Amazon. I actually don't know how Merch by Amazon works, honestly. I think they just sell on Amazon. I should really know that. I don't really know anything about it because I'm not on it, so I haven't made really many videos about it except keyword methods. So I decided to check even Nisha and see if there are any volume 1 to 10, and then I checked 11 to 100, and um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, okay, putting it by volume, and then look, the first one I saw, big red letter logo. This was the one that blew my mind, guys. So watch my process here. I Google it, and I see Redbubble is first. Only 81 results. So first thing, you upload a design to Redbubble, big red lay et uh, big letter A sticker. And then I scroll down. I was like, where's Etsy? Where's Merch by Amazon? Where are all the where are all the competitors? And then I kind of scroll on, and then I just I just kept thinking to myself, like, where are the competitors? I went on Etsy and I searched it, and yeah, 15 results and not a single one of them get rid of ship to UK but obviously everyone ships to the UK only 15 results and none of them are phrase matches so I got I got really really interested in this and at this point I decided to try and plug my microphone in I'm pretty sure so um, this is me looking for my microphone and obviously my microphone has a lot of problems <laughs> I've got a really bad setup, guys. I'm really sorry. I would really like a better setup. And I'd really like to be able to just hop on and, you know, whatever. But I'm going to leave it here and everything else is live commentary. Hello. Okay. Okay, wait. Uh, this was supposed to be a video. Uh, I was going to do an hour's worth of research and I was going to make a video uh, editing it down. But I just stumbled across this and this has been something I've been talking about in the last few videos about finding something that's uh, on Redbubble uh, but not on Etsy so I what you just saw was like live footage of me stumbling across this if you noticed just before I almost um, I almost just moved on and then suddenly in my head I was like why don't I just quickly check Etsy there's not a single Etsy design that look there's not a single one that follows this exact keyword and uh, you know it doesn't have loads and loads of searches every month but 90 and if you do create an Etsy Etsy could appear here because that's how and you know that's I've talked about this loads and loads of times you can watch my video that I just released about this I'll leave a link now but um, yeah Etsy can rank above Redbubble at any time. It's like a, it's a jungle, and they're kind of fighting constantly. And yeah, this is a pretty insane method that I've just been kind of playing with. This is what I've been talking about as well. I keep saying that you should dive deep and you should forget about volume. If if you forget about volume, then you've got the advantage because other people care so much about volume so like when people are doing research they only like generally people say like a thousand searches a month or you know 500 searches a month or whatever but as you can see like this doesn't have that many searches but like it gives you it's such an opportunity and remember this is per month 
So even if you sold three a month from one of these, if you do 50, that's 150 sales a month, you can dominate this kind of like diving deep and diving deep and mixing like, so we just saw there were loads of results on Redbubble. I'm kind of doing this with one hand, guys. Sorry about, um, I'm holding the microphone. Let's just have a look at Etsy. Only 76 results. Let's get rid of ships the United Kingdom. It's the same because everybody ships the United Kingdom, obviously. Um, wow. Yeah, so this like combined, uh, does this even have, there's no, there's no phrase match. Wow, I'm like, my mind is being blown live right now. I really hope my microphone's actually working. Uh, I'm going to leave this part unedited, guys, just so that you can kind of understand like how much my mind is being blown right now. There's no phrase match. This method, polar bear tights, like that's something that I don't think many people would think to make that design. Let's have a look. Etsy, interesting. Okay, maybe lots of people did. Only 141 results. Wow. Oh, that's also Etsy. Redbubble, there we go. Ah, okay. Loads of results. But, like, Etsy doesn't have that many. That's pretty crazy, actually. I think Redbubble onto Etsy is a really strong keyword method. Let me just move my key keyboard forward a tiny bit, and I'll, um, I'm just going to keep doing a couple more searches. I like to search a few times just to make sure that this method is actually as good as it seems. Okay, only 26 results. Wow, that's really, really good. And then let's put it on to Etsy, 28 results. Are there any phrase matches? Yes, that's a phrase match. These are all that design. Okay, that's fine. But there's only 28 results. And none of them are using phrase match, which, I, you know, maybe Etsy isn't affected by it, but I don't really know. That's pretty crazy. Oh, wait, they're not exact phrase matches. That's why. It's a different quote. Oh, no, it is. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm a little bit tired, honestly. I'm on holiday for two weeks, though, and I'm going to try to release a video every day in those two weeks. Let's see how that goes. Um, I'm just going to find another couple coming to America sweater. Huh. I wonder if that has a lot of results. Probably 831. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this keyword is. It looks, oops. Looks like a TV series, only 49 results. Yeah, this is seeming really, really strong. I really, really like this. Uh, one problem with this is a lot of it is like merchandise. So you could, for example, you could go on advanced filters here and you could put exclude keyword merch and merch. I'm so bad at spelling. I was an English teacher as well. Is that going to work or is that just going to say there are no results? It should work. Yes, it does work. Yeah, so this uh, this keyword, guys, is uh, really really interesting. Like you can, there's just pages and pa there's so many pages. And as I keep telling you guys as well, you can um, you can just export them. Like you can export uh, ten thousand at a time, and then you can change this to one to ten, for example. See if there are any keywords here. No. 100 to 1,000. I already did that one. Yeah, you get my point, guys. I w yeah, I think I'm. I think I actually prefer the video like this, so I'm gonna leave it like this, and I will see you in the next one, guys. But yeah, seriously, dive deep. Take a take a dive into Semrush or Ahrefs because there's some interesting things lurking at the bottom of the pile. Like these are all just like these are all just impossible things. He says, and then he sees a keyword. <laughs> I can't help but check keywords, guys. I'm, I'm obsessed. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's always anime. It's always anime. Always, always, always. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there, and I will um, see you real soon. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to try and do a video every day. Peace out.